Hey guys, my name is Jordan. These are the Astro 20 Gen 2 headphones and they're the updated version of the Astro 20 line. But how good could the upgrades really be? Does it really make a difference? How do they sound compared to the other options out there? And could these really improve your video game skills? Who is this headset for? And what can you expect after you get it? Let's find out. The Astro A20 Gen 2 comes in two variants. One that works for PC, Mac, and PlayStation consoles, and another that works on PC, Mac, and Xbox consoles that include all the versions. There's a slight difference in how the two technologies connect, but otherwise, you can tell the two variants apart by their color schemes. The PlayStation version is white and black with blue accents, while the Xbox version is white and black with green accents. Regardless of which color scheme you get, the construction is the same. It's all plastic with bits of rubber and soft fabric ear pads. The plastic bill is a bit disconcerting as plastic headsets are more prone to snapping than their metal counterparts Parts, but as they trade off, they're a bit lighter and can be more comfortable. Attaching the bridge to the ear cuffs are plastic extendable hinges that should fit most head sizes. My slightly smaller dome fit in there pretty snugly, which isn't always the case for headsets, and I felt there was just the right amount of clamping force keeping them on my head. That might not be the case for you, however, so it's worth paying extra attention to the fit before you get it too far outside of a potential return policy. Along the ear cuffs, you'll find a few different buttons. On the headset's right, including voice and game audio buttons that nudge the balance towards one or the other, as well as the general volume dial right in between them. There's also an equal button for swapping through presets as well as an overall power on and off button. Like other Astro headsets, the microphone has flip to mute capabilities, meaning it's automatically silenced when you turn it up so that's flush with the connecting arm. That's so much better than fumbling for a mute button while playing, though it would have been nice if the mic was completely detachable like it is on the other headsets in the same price range. The Astro A20 Gen 2 does not support wired audio and instead connects to your gaming device of choice using a 2.4 GHz USB wireless dongle, but don't be fooled, this isn't a standard wireless connection. The included dongle uses the Xbox wireless connection standard, which is why the Xbox version of the A20 won't work with devices like the PlayStation 5 and the Nintendo Switch, and why Windows recognize it as Xbox controller when the dongle is plugged into your PC. If, however, you want to expand the Xbox version to your PS5, you can shell out an extra money for the PS5 transmitter. Alternatively, you can simply spring for the PlayStation-oriented version of the A20 instead of the Xbox variant. With this, you won't be able to play on Xbox consoles unless you buy the Xbox transmitter, but it will work with Sony consoles along with PC and Mac. You should be able to use the PS5 transmitter with a Nintendo Switch though, since Nintendo added support for USB devices. The A20 Gen 2 has enough juice for 15 hours of playback according to Astro. That's a number that I've found mostly accurate if it's a little on the high side. While 15 hours is definitely enough to get you through a weekend, it's half the length of time that the Astro A20 Gen 2 rivals the SteelSeries and Arctic 9X and the HyperX Cloud 2 wireless offer. The good news here is that the Astro A20 Gen 2 does have an auto shut off feature that will kick in after 10 minutes, reducing the amount of battery wasted in standby mode, though it is only seems to work on PC, not on consoles. When it works, it's a nice feature to have if you often forget to turn off your headset and it helps maximize battery life. Recharging takes over an hour and uses the aforementioned USB-C port. Unsurprisingly, the Astro A20 Gen 2 sounds just as good as its predecessor. It brings a particular focus on the mid-range, helping dialogue and footsteps cut through intense gunfire and explosions. Sometimes it can come at the expense of the lower and higher frequencies, but the Astro A20 Gen 2 feels perfectly tuned for a chat headset. The experience largely is the same for each game, clear dialogue and decent bass response. Shooters can feel more alive with the headset on and firefights become more intense. It's easier to locate treasure chests in Fortnite when you can hear the radiating aura from the further away. The only downside, all of these sounds were limited to the horizontal audio plane. You never really got a sense of verticality with the headset, which is something that's offered some of Astro's competitors. I'd also say that this really isn't the most musically oriented gaming headset out there. The soundstage is relatively limited when it comes to audio due to the closed back design of the headset and there's a distinct lack of detail. Playing around with the EQ button on the side of the headset can sometimes help add a little oomph to the highs and lows of the audio spectrum, but there's no way to tell which EQ setting you're using without an updated version of the Astro Command Center. Frustratingly, the only way to connect the headset is through the included dongle. There's no built-in Bluetooth that you could use to pair the headset to your phone for phone calls. There's not even a 3.5mm headphone jack if you run out of battery. The Astro A20 Gen 2 is a straightforward gaming headset, and it's hard to imagine being disappointed with it. As long as you get the right variant for your needs. The headset sounds good, and it's comfortable. The microphone isn't stellar, but it's got no volume or clarity issues. The battery life is pretty decent too. However, for the price, this is definitely a little bare bones and the lack of any software is terribly glaring. Who doesn't love a plug-in and play headset? But it feels a little notable given the game and chat features doesn't work on PC and the EQ presets don't overly feel different from each other. But that's just my opinion. Why don't you let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Give the video a like if you learned anything and maybe hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these types of reviews. If you want to learn about another fun Astro headset, check out this video on the Astro A40 TRs. Maybe you'll find something more for you there.